right now we are ready to go to the game Nexus versus Eclarides, the tie breaker on Emerald River. If you are aware of this map, good. If not, let me give you a quick highlight. There are two main camps here and here, and then there are three points. B point, which is equally on the same side, like in the middle, and then you have C point, which is closer to the blue team, and A point, which is closer to the red team. You have few crossings. This three main ones can be crossed by cavalry and then you have the small crossings which are uh, infantry on the, no they are also cavalry i think accessible right but there are stairs there are several stairs because the map is very different in the height and so on and there are places where cavalry cannot go but this is enough of the map let's talk about the heroes and units cd yeah for units uh, i think the heroes are pretty much the same as what we've seen before um uh, just a few glaives and spears sprinkled in between there. Not so much light armor anymore. Uh, for the units, uh, we see that Eclorides has few players with um, two calf, but mostly just one. So we still see a lot of uh, infantry. Same for Nexus, but they do have um, quite a few Lanskneths more than on the other side, I think. There's also Harbour Sergeants. This is the first time we, we will see that unit. Um, they can be really effective against um not t5 cap let's say and maybe not armiers um, yeah. but they have good brace they also have a decent charge um, but they are sometimes a bit clunky to use yeah so yeah and i've seen here or there uh, some blue cavalry as well i wonder if this will be silent cavalry which can use either swords or they are mainly sword cavalry but they can also effectively use bows but there is also corchings which is full oh my god this is going to be so hardcore to watch. This is going to be crazy. Yeah. The fog. The fog is hardcore. Okay, let's focus on the game. B point, not really contested. We can see the teams have spawned pretty much half, half here, half here. We can see that the Nexus team, uh, sorry, this is Eclarides. Uh, so the Eclarides, I need to it's, quickly switch it. It's 10 from Eclarides on the, on the A point and 5 from um, Nexus on the A on on the A point, and on the other side it's the opposite, and there's only one player from Nexus going for B. So B is uncontested, and then we have 10 versus 5 on the C point, advantage of Nexus, and the A point is advantage for Eclorides. Yeah, so this is good highlight, B point for free, very nice. And here, yes, the defense, infantry defense from the Eclorides is coming, the cavalry charges are coming from different sides, but they are stopped. One advance, second advance, very nice. And then in the middle, we can see also shields stopping a lot of units. So this is very nice defense. Considering there were only five of them against much more enemies, I think they are doing good. Yeah, and over on the A point, it's actually going pretty hard, I think. Um, they still do not have captured it. Uh, C point is getting captured back, this is good. Um, A point is, is safe right now. Uh, B point still uncontested, of course. Um, Smokemore is still walking around it. He got it and he wants to keep it. Yeah, and C point, I guess the, it's case close, right? They they killed the, the enemy with much more forces, and uh, yeah. that's what allowed the Nexus team to, to take a, so, a win here. And we can see both teams uh, doing the same thing. They're capturing the supply that's closest to their objective, and they are it seems to be that they are going for the main main camp. Uh, this might be a race, uh, general. Yeah, if you are not aware, conquest point uh, conquest works like that. You need to capture two points, uh, either C B or, or B A or whatever, and then the main camp is unlocked. Over here you can see the timer, right? So the main camp can be captured, and on the top you can see the percentage. Whoever has the uh, most percentage at the end wins. So we can see very good pressure from both teams on the main points, but we need to see who will be faster. It's very hard to stream two sides yeah, right now. It's going so quickly. Um, I feel like uh, Nexus is losing out right now. They are losing uh, people, but look at that match is going down. Next series is going down. It's one by yeah. one, but Nexus is down. First points coming out from Nexus. Coming down. Yeah. There is one last player, yeah? And they are capturing. So they are capturing right now the point. If no one else from Nexus team will be able to spawn and come here, this is done for the Nexus. They are trying to move and block the spawn points. This is a very good idea, but will they have enough people? The spawn point here have four ways you can go out, so I don't think they will be able to fully block it. But right now they are winning the game with capture. 30% yeah, left. 
those respawn prime timers need to come in quickly right now. Um, of course, um, the, the respawns will be so strong because Actorize units have been low, down, or dead. So it might still be possible for Nexus to take it back with the SV so quick. Yep, and we can see that they are blocking the point. And this is the key thing that happens. You can see the timer have run out. They don't have two points anymore. They cannot capture, so the, it is locked. And this is something that might hurt them in the long run. A Clark the Steam losing that, and they are also losing a point. This is going to be problematic right now. If you have triple cap, the points will also go down. So if they will be able to capture a now, they will be bleeding the points from the Nexus. So. Sorry, from the Eclarides. So let's see if they will be able to do it. Longbow fighting 1v1 versus Spear with just two or three units. And he's low hard HP, hard he had to run away. Hard. Yep, but the B point is right now contested back, so this is good. They have done the B point. No one is on it yet. It's very hard to cast. A lot of things are happening, guys. Oh, and, uh, this is so much going on, but they are capping again on the points for this. Yeah. So key highlight right now to make Nexus 5% only left. They really need to keep someone in defense and there is no one in the point right now. Oh my god, the units. Last second unit push from the Pike Militia. Out of all the units, Pike Militia stopping the capture here. Nice. They killed them, they cleared it. They really need to keep someone on the point constantly. That's one thing. And another thing is they cannot lose three points. They need to have one point at least available to not lose the well, Nexus team is right now doing a quite good job on that. Yeah, they're doing great. They got back A. Um, they, oh, but they're losing C again. But someone is going there. Someone is going to D as well. Yeah, so A point is cleared. Let's take a look uh, at the statistics because you have three lights only here as well. Yeah, true that. Let's see. Oh, this is so quick. Uh, let's see. So we got match in down on Aclarize actually. That's the MVP down. This is that might be major, right? Uh, we've seen Aclarize depend on him for so many games, and he's out already. Um, might be intentional. Who knows? Um, furthermore, uh, unit kills. Let's see. Well, it's pretty equal, pretty close. As more kills are coming in, Belanda also down. The other MVP for Aclarize, as we see that the point B is being kept by Nexus once more, but they're still at risk. They are still only at five percent. This game is so close, man. And B point is captured right now by, by Nexus. They did a very good push. Even though Eclarides team tried to defend, they were not able to come with their units fast enough. So this is what I said in the beginning before the match. A lot of ground to cover. Infantry is nice, but it's slow. That's the problem. And we can see B point. There is a lot of fight going on. And C is going to be almost captured. Look at that Nexus having B and A secured. They are trying to go with C and trying to do the triple cap. Almost got it, but yeah, Eclarides were able to spawn in the last second and they are going to clear them out. Another unit coming in, so they are definitely going to even ensure that the C point is not lost. And this is going to be a good thing. Only five minutes left. Thing to watch out as well, because it might be that the time will decide. Yeah, it might be. Uh, looks like Nexus is having a really strong foothold on the center right now. They also have the eight points secure. So Nexus is in a pretty good place right now. Um, if they can get the supply between B and C, they can also start pushing for C maybe. But of course they have to make sure that no one gets behind them because if someone gets in the camp and can cap it, then we know it's only 5%. Yeah, and right now on the stats screen you can see that a lot of teams, uh, a lot of people have died fully and have no more response. So this is, uh... Yeah, we just got one more from Nexus. Uh, so three people on Nexus side are down for good and two on the Acrorite side so far. We got two more on Acrorite that have two deaths and there is one, two, three, four, five guys on Nexus that have two deaths. So Nexus is slowly losing the the life battle for the heroes. We can see a nice arming exchange from the back. Good reaction from the stalwarts. Another arming it from behind, this time it's on Eclarides, so good cleanup, and I guess they will take B. So right now, Eclarides controlling C, no one from Nexus around to contest. They are getting B point, I guess they will definitely get it. I mean, there's Imperial Pike, but there's much more units. Yeah, I would assume they will get it. Let's take Nexus a look on... 
Eight. Axis is nice, mainly at their base right now. Um, they are trying to hold A and their base, but they need more, right? They are behind, so they only have four minutes left. I, I wonder if they can still pull some. Yeah, we can see that there is A point being covered. That's a very good decision. They, if they lose three points, they are going to bleed out points. And yeah. Looking at the statistics, 700 units left for Eclarides, 670 for Nexus, very similar. The problem is here. You can see that there is one, two, three people from Nexus. Sorry, four people. Four, there's four down right now. Yeah, who cannot spawn anymore. On the other end, on Eclarides, we have only two people. So this yeah, is an advantage. We can see it on the center, Eclarides grouping. Seems like they are trying to group for a final push. And, 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 and they gotta know, right, that they have the advantage. They, they only need to wait out and hold one objective, and they are fine. Yeah, so Eclarides having the upper hand with the timer, with the point, seems like this is slowly leaning towards their end. And next, they are trying to defend the main point. That's a good that you don't lose it. It's 5% only. If you lose it, it's gone pretty much for a moment, like immediately. So this is, this is a good thing that they are keeping people in defense. But is this good tactic? Maybe you need to risk some more. This will not no. bring you anything. Two minutes Echo left. Eclorides is moving to A as well, but I see next is going to B. Maybe? No, not yet. So Eclorides is moving to A. They have more people there. They might take it and actually finish the game themselves. Mm -hmm. So B point is fully covered by Eclorides. C point, we can see two, po two people from next are trying to flank, but Eclorides is responding and the main fight will decide right now here what will happen. We can see good rotation from Eclarides. They read very well what is happening and they reacted even better. Right now three people left only here from Nexus and I don't see too many units. So this might be the nail to the coffin, not capturing this point. Yeah, we see Nexus making a des desperate attempt for the B point. They're pushing with three on two there. Uh, so they might get it back, but it might not be time at all. Um, at C point, I see units going there. Oh, they're capturing C. They, might yep. just they have triple cap, and this is over. Three, what two, you said? one. Bob. Well done. Eclorides, surprising win for me. So well done by that. Very well played. Very well played. I mean, first of all, sorry guys for casting this. It's first time like that. With the weather, it was hardcore. But I hope, yeah, I hope that's good, good enough. So let's move to the statistics right now for Just the MVPs. After our look what he has done to Nexus. Yeah. Here we are. Um, ah, Avatar, yeah. yeah, as you mentioned, yeah, the, the MVP from previous yeah, games, yeah. right? Yeah, I don't know why, but he performed, outperformed any person on his team, I think. Um, surprisingly, Matt Shin going down, only 32 unit kills, three, three hero deaths, and, and he was out. Um, same, for, same for Kiwi Choco, soon in the game, pretty early in the game, I mean. Um, we saw both of them perform really well, but Actorize still were able to win it, even without two of their better players. Um, on Nexus side, we can see so many heroes with three deaths, right? At the end, of course, they had to push it, but like we said during the game, we saw slowly that Nexus was losing more and more people. And yeah, after a while, the map is just too big and you cannot maintain pressure on enough points. We saw in the beginning, Nexus was pushing really hard, they were so close uh, to the base as well. But for some reason, Acroids just did better than Nexus. And Nexus, uh, in the end, lost uh, Kronos AD, MVP for Nexus. He performed really well, uh, the only one with over 100 units in this game. So um, we got to look later on what he did with his units, because uh, there might be some units that he's really, re really comfortable with. It's so surprising for me, this game. I didn't expect Nexus to take it. To lose it, actually. And yeah, mm -hmm. take that it. To take it. Yeah, I mean, you are the stat guy, so you know the best. I guess the uh, numbers don't always work toward the, the predictions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then looking at the performance for the three games in the, in the total, to be honest, those two teams seems like they are on a very similar level, but then in different aspects, right? We, we, we have seen some very interesting tactics coming here and there, and, and uh, some bit better than others, but then also we have seen some nice unit placement movement together, some flanking maneuvers, you know, so thinking outside of the box, some planning, mm. some quick reactions, many different things 
we have seen observed today and both teams have been either better or worse in each one of them i cannot list you out all of them right now but sure. but definitely as said different aspects but very balanced games in my opinion uh -huh. yeah totally uh...